Chapter 3. Oh my god, what a sad way to start the chapter. Mom? Search. Mom? Where are you? Search. Ask for help. Where's mom? Take a look. Ask, where's mom? Take a look. Take a closer look. Mom? Reach out. Okay. What was that? Maybe it was just, just my imagination. Oh, good day, Squinty. Seems at least you slept well. I, I still can't believe it. Mom disappeared and I, I think it's my fault too. If only I realized in time how late it was. Squinty, I've got so many questions. People disappearing, leaving no trace behind. How is it even possible? Are they still out there somewhere? And the monster I saw that night, why didn't it take me? The truth is that I don't know anything. But maybe someone in town knows something. Squinty, I've decided what to do next. I want to understand. I'll ask around. I'll start with that. Okay, Detective Squinty, let's go. Oh, God. It's so heartbreaking. Dad? Oh, no. He's not at home. What's this? You got a message. Good morning, Lucy. I needed to help Tom in the field today. I'll be back soon. Please don't go out alone and don't worry about dinner. I'll take care of it. I love you, Dad. P.S. This doll is for you. Look after her. Oh. Oh. You got a doll. I'll get for me. It's so soft. That's not here and I can't go out. It seems that we'll have to rest reschedule our investigation. Oh no, this is so heartbreaking. Huh? There's someone at the door. Coming. Oh, it's you, Miss Olivia. Hi, darling. How are you feeling? I'm I'm sorry. What a stupid question. I But don't don't stay there. Come. See what I brought you. Here, the cookies are still warm. I, I hope you like them. Where's your dad? He's not at home. I understand. Any idea when he'll be back? I'm really sorry, darling. It must be so hard for you. Now that your mother's no longer here. I still remember the night when she disappeared. I just wanted to talk with your father about what happened. Excuse me, but do you, do you see her that night? Oh, what? No, no, I, I didn't see anyone. Oh, you're lying, lady. It's just that she was coming to see you. She went out to return your basket. Yes, the basket. I found it in front of the door. That's it. Dad won't be home for a little while. If you want to wait here, we can talk. 
wanted to ask you so many things about... Oh, what a nice doll you've got there. Is that a gift from dad? But of course it is. How lovely. Why don't you go play with your new doll? I'll wait here until he's back. But I wanted to... You know what? I've got a splendid idea. Some tea would be great with these cookies, yes? Yes, dearie? Make us some tea? Good girl. What's wrong with you, lady? Like, what's wrong with you? Hey, let's grab the cookies. Hmm. You got some cookies. I mean, I wonder if there's anything new we can do in the house. Okay. It's an old rusty sickle. Cycle, okay. Let's push forward. Can I sing to her? Excuse me, dear. I'm a little tired from recent events. Can you please refrain from humming? What? Seriously? Whatever. That doesn't want me to go out. Then what am I supposed to do? Perfect. The fire is already on. Alright, oh, she, she asked me to make some tea. Okay, so let's make some tea. Bucket full of water for cooking. You got a saucepan. Okay, what else do I need? This word that keeps the spices. What a mess, what happened here? The labels on the spice containers are all messed up. I can't read anything. Okay, so this is like a mini game, cool. Okay. Cool. Oh, so, oh, <laughs> so that's what we're supposed to do. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Okay, we are finished. Took me like 10 minutes. This is not a very good puzzle because you don't get any type of clues. Um, and you just need to follow what you would usually do in a puzzle, right? You look at the shapes, but uh, the shapes. But the problem is that the designs are so like artistic that it's kind of hard to discern what goes where outside of the colors, which are very similar. And it takes you like 10 to 15 minutes to do, but it's, I don't know, uh, not ideal. Not ideal. It's not bad, nor nor are you going to break your head trying to solve it, but it's going to take you some time. Now I can tell what's what's tea and what's chili powder. You got tea leaves. Fair enough. Yeah, it's been morning for so long that you're already tired, aren't you? You life the life of a cat. This is Oh, you can't open it? Okay. Let's combine items. No, this is not what I'm supposed to combine it with. Interesting. It won't take long. Okay. You got hot water. There we go. Ouch, it burns. Okay, now we can bind it. Thanks, honey. Oh, delicious. 
It's not the same as your father's, but you definitely are his daughter, darling. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of things. True, true. You're no longer a child. Oh, they, they grow up so fast. So you can tell me what, what you wanted to tell dad? Oh, well, but why don't you go outside and play, Lucy? Today's a beautiful day. Oh my god, she is dodging the question. I'll just sit here and sip your tea as I wait for your father. Be a good girl. Nothing. I couldn't convince her with tea. I have to find another way. Yes, I will. Okay, and here we go. It took me quite a while and I, I, I it took me a long time because I didn't know you could start from or any of the excess and you could like sh interchange. I didn't understand that. Man, this game is really needing a hint system. <laughs> Okay, kids playing. The ball went to the forest. Oh, I just remembered a story from when I was little. You know, your mother was always very reckless. One time our ball ended up in the forest and she was so bold she went after it alone. Can you even imagine into the forest she was not afraid of of them but she should have been i've had the impression lately that they were stalking her oh my and i was her best friend no no they must have seen me with your mother so often that wait a second what are you talking about lucy lucy darling you you're afraid of monsters right you never go near the forest right you must never do it they see it when you do if your mother's been taken they'll have their eyes on us don't go near the forest lucy Sorry, Lucy, I... I think I know where my father could be. I'll go look it. I'll, I'll go looking for him. Yes, here. Okay. Whatever, lady. You're acting kind of weird. Maybe it's the Illuminati. <laughs> In the forest. <laughs> Olivia, she scared me. Whenever I try to understand, adults try to scare me off. I don't care. I won't give up. I want to know what happened to mom. Well, I'll ask around and take notes. I can use Dad's letter to write down clues. And you got Lucy's clues. Let's let the investigation begin. Mom, I'd like to know what happened. Hello, Cole. What's wrong? You look sad today. Okay. It's the first time I've seen Cole tied up. Huh? The woodworker seemed to have taken his tools with him today. One end of the rope is tied here. I know the woodworker is extremely skilled, but I just don't like this thing. Yeah, yeah. What's with this this hat? What's that? You don't want me to take it? Cool. 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 I won't take it away if you don't want me to. The woodworker must have lost it. No, that's not a good sign. This fountain no longer works. We go to the well when we need water. Hey there. How are you? Keeping myself fit with some hard work. The pipes. Are you fixing the pipes? Oh, ho, ho, that I am. I used to be a plumber, you know. I just couldn't look at these broken pipes without feeling guilty. That's great, actually. We haven't been able to get water from the fountain in a very long time. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, kid. When I'm done, you'll have all the water you want. Great. Okay, do I need to, like, mesmerize him with my song? Okay, he seems to know something about the hat. Shame, though. Looks like it's gonna take longer than I thought. I'm glad I've got my hat or the sun would have burned my head. I've never seen you with that hat before. It looks good. Ah, it does, doesn't it? 
It was a gift from my father when I wasn't much older than you are now. What happened then? Did he disappear into the forest? Nope. Sometimes people die of old age too, you know. Ha! Ah, I see. Two? Ooh, yeah. I guess he's hinting that people that people to go to the forest die. It's a woodworker's dog kennel. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm gonna get all the clues I need. Oh, I need those scissors. Hi, Sonny. Hi, Lucy. If you're looking for the others, they're all playing by the bench. And what are you doing? Mom asked me to prune the plants. They're getting a little out of control. Ah, having fun? Well, the, the small leaves are tedious, but with the big ones, you feel like you're making a lot of progress. It's not bad. Okay, that's not true. It's really boring. But you know how mom is. Duty first and duty after. What are you doing around here? I'm running an investigation. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. You know my mom? I heard. I'm very sorry. How are you? Well, I've been better. No one in my family has ever disappeared, so I can't imagine how you're feeling. But if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Thanks, Sonny. And Lucy? What's up? I know you. You're brave, but don't try to go looking for her in the forest. I'm serious. I wouldn't want my best friend to take taken by the monsters. Sonny, you're the responsible one, not me. Lucy! I'm joking. Don't worry. I don't go... I won't go anywhere. I just want to learn more about the missing people. I know, I understand. Adults don't tell us everything. You've noticed it too. Yes, but I'm sure they do it for our own good. They don't want us to worry. And the same goes for me. Don't make me worry about you. Okay, I won't. What do you know about the monsters? Well, they live in the forest. They roar at night and kidnap people. Yeah, but like, what do they look like? Well, I imagine them being ugly with lots of eyes and some thick black fur. I think I saw one, you know, the night when my mother... Seriously? Were you scared? It was just for a moment. I ran away immediately. I remember its white mantle and its roar. It must have been horrible. You know, you're the only one I've told this to. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't tell anyone else. Adults are always freaked out by these stories. I don't know what they would think. They're the ones who told us about the monsters, though. And if they thought it was there to take you... I don't think it was. I, I, it didn't follow me. Imagine their reactions. I don't trust the others, either. We're all too afraid. I wasn't planning to tell the others, just you. Alright, Lucy, be careful. Oh, Have you ever been to the forest? Of course not. My parents get angry if I'm late for dinner. I can't imagine what they do if I went into the forest. I've never been there, either. The only one who can go there is the woodworker. You might ask him, however. Asking adults these questions isn't a good idea. They don't like talking about it. Got it. Thank you. I have to go. See you later. Okay. Sonny's mom is always in the kitchen making sweets. I rarely see her around. They say if you meet her on the street, she'll give you cookies. It's, she's so nice. Well, Sonny has to help her out so much. Okay. That's my mom's song. How do you know it? Oh ho ho, what is it, Lucy? Want to ask me something? The song. I know that song. Oh, so what? So why are you singing it? Because I sang it way before your mother. <laughs> huh? What are you saying? Who do you think taught her? Me, of course. I don't believe you. Everyone says you're crazy and she never told me about you. Well, of course your mother doesn't know me. I'm just a crazy old lady and singing is just for frivolous people. Singing is not frivolous. Well then, would you like to know how the song continues? Yes. Yep. Listen well. You got a note! You are a very promising little girl, Lucy. Oh my, it's almost time. Eh? For what? Ah, I was wrong. My watch is broken. Have you ever seen the monsters? Yup, of course, all the time. Really? I remember the last one very well. Twas a frenzied farmer screaming at his hands. A terrifying vision. <laughs> ah, I understand. That kind of monster. To me, they're, they are re the real monsters. You, do you know anything about the forest? Well, it's a place full of trees. What kind of forest are you talking about? 
There's only one kind of forest, the one where people disappear. Oh, that one, of course, sure. That's how the, the forest must look to your eyes. You're so young. Why was it different before? People don't talk about it. How could they talk about times when things went better if all they can do now is fear the present? Oh. What was the forest like before? You said the forest used to be different. Can you tell me the whole story? Of course. Once, you know, the forest was inhabited by so many happy birds. But then one terrible day, the king of the forest decided to keep with him only those birds who chirped the best. Eh. Eventually they quarreled and wait, what happened next? I don't... What are you talking about? Oh yes, maybe they were all devoured by monsters and the story. <laughs> okay, lady. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. Ugh. She always seems to be making fun of me. Was there anything else you wanted to know, dear? Nope, have to go. You learn a new song, nice. Some, some items can hide precious memories. This song can help people recall those memories. Select a new song. Rotate the cells to create a path and solve the labyrinth. Use this knob to rotate the starting cell. Connect it to the other cells by using gears and rotate them together. Create a path up to the exit. Okay, this is interesting. I'm afraid that without a hint system, this is gonna get very convoluted. Okay. Cause where do I, how do I know where this needs to go? Okay. Okay, Robert's back. Okay. I guess I solved it. Okay, but what do I do with that? The game is for adults only. They don't trust our aim with darts. But playing with a slingshot and rocks, that's fine. Oh well. One more of these in a town is always welcome. It's empty. The forest is so close. I feel anxious already. Dirty tools full of cobwebs. I don't want to know anything more. I suppose this is where the hands go when it's dark. Let's be on our merry way. What am I supposed to do with that memory? Yikes, that sack of flowers just moved. Who's there? It moved. Boxes full of food, they are tightly sealed. Board seasoning, a specialty of the town. Uh, am I supposed to like sing to it? I guess I am. Okay. I don't know, I, I'm not getting it very well. I'm more or less winging it, but it's kind of confusing. Ah, you found me. Oh, it's just you, Lucy. What are you doing here? You weren't playing hide and seek. Now you'll find me. The others aren't playing anymore. They're by the bench doing other stuff. Ah. Ah, oh, they didn't tell me. Oh my god, so sad, dude. Well, do you want to play with me, Lucy? Not really. Would you like to chat for a bit? Sure. Oh, Blue. And then Olivia started telling me all these strange things about monsters. I got scared and left. Ah, adults always do that. I'm trying to find out what I can. I was told that my uncle was taken away by monsters because he used to talk too loud. He always made me laugh and I enjoyed staying with him. I want to find out what happens to people who disappear. Can I, I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. 
Do you know how he disappeared? He was playing hide and seek with me, my favorite game. It, it was his turn to hide, but I couldn't really find him that time. I asked the adults to help, but they didn't find him either. They said that maybe he hid in the forest and got himself lost. Did you ever go looking for him? Are you crazy? Don't you know it's forbidden? The monsters would have taken me away too. See you later. Sure, bye. That little girl. Excuse me, may I grunt? Okay, buddy. What are you mumbling, little girl? Go play elsewhere. Okay. Hi. Hmm? You are Lucy. Ah, uh, yes. And Lucy's daughter. May I, may I ask you a few questions? Questions? You kids... You kids should just be playing and fooling around. Leave questions to adults, dear. I know the forest is dangerous and I've never, I never go there, but I was wondering, what does it really look like? Gosh, is this what kids nowadays think about? I was just thinking that maybe if I knew it better, it'd be safer. Little girl, you shouldn't be interested in such things. Just follow the rules and you'll be fine. I've been living here my whole life. Things have always been like this. There is nothing else you need to know. Do you know what monsters really look like? Have you ever seen one? Young lady, we don't talk about such things. But I want to know more. The monsters have kidnapped my mom and... Oh, of course, I understand the problem, but... There's no good child that you just... You can't just go around bothering everyone with your questions. You're not the only one who has lost someone, dear. Has it happened to you too? See, this is precisely the sort of question you shouldn't be asking. Sorry. Remember this, kid. Rules protect us. Those who don't respect them find themselves gone for good. You will accept this with time. If someone disappears, it's always their fault. That's not true. Mom's never done anything wrong. Foolish girl, don't raise your voice. Ha! I'm just wasting my time with you. Oh my god. You should have pushed her to the water. <laughs> A wall so high that you can't see the garden at all. I know that Olivia cares a lot about, about her plants. I wonder what her garden looks like now. It's locked. Olivia must still be at my house. Fruit, there's only this brittle fence between us. Yet today I will spare you. Be thankful that I don't want mom's best friend to be mad at me. I'm trying to understand how the new how I'm gonna use the new song. Or when I'm supposed to use it. It's closed. Stop right there. No one passes, especially not spies like you. Still on guard, Silver. Of course, I'm the best. Did you get kicked out of their games again? Yeah, I'm the best at that too. But that's totally your fault, Spy. I haven't forgotten. Anyway, I have to stay here so you can't pass. Halt! Okay, so he has memories of making bread with... I think that's his father or uncle. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. See, this one's much more complicated. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, that one was much more manageable. Because I started at the right, at, right X. Stupid black. Why does he have to be so bossy? Huh? What are you talking about? 
He wanted to punish me because I let you bribe me with the candy. He took a precious gift from me and hid it. Yeah, I can see him doing that. I can't even leave to go look for it. It's not fair. What if I found it for you? Then would you let me pass? I don't know. You know what? Black doesn't deserve my loyalty. If you find my gift, you can pass through whenever you want. Deal. Oh. It's closed. And how am I gonna go about that? Okay, I'm gonna start using the new song. Let's see. Ooh, I can use it with the hat. Yes. There we go. Okay, so it's not only finding where the the cogwheel goes, it's putting it at the right time. So you need to like count how many turns it needs. It's kind of kind of complicated, honestly. It seems simple, but it's more complicated than it seems. He wants to follow his owner. I can't. It's tied too tight. How can I untie it? I, we need to cut it. I, I'm sure of that. I shouldn't go, go back yet? Okay. I know I need the scissors, but I, I need to move, you know, the story forward some way. Huh? The old woman left. This could be useful. You got a rake. The soothing sound of running water. This river was already here when I was a kid. I'm happy that despite all these years, the town is still here as it once was. People, though. People are not here anymore. What do you mean? I've seen many faces on and off these walls through the years. Oh. Why do we hang up posters of missing people if nobody goes looking for them? No, no. The posters are there just to let us know who disappeared, not to help us find them. But has anyone ever tried? Only fools try. They always find the end they deserve. Monsters waiting for them and no way to come back home. Wow, that's so sad. Oh my god, that almost got me crying. God, that's so sad. I mean, you don't need monsters for you to lose people, you know? So that it kind of resonates. You get older, you know, people move on. It's, it's very sad. <laughs> sorry, sorry for spilling that on you guys. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, this is open. I hadn't noticed this before. Hi bunnies. Lots of fun staying lots of fun staying in that cage, right? No. Not really. A home for domestic honeybees. They sting just like the wild ones. One of Red's courage tests was to stick your hand in the hole. I've never done it, obviously. Huh? It's empty. There aren't any bees. I found the key, though. Yes, you got a rusty key. Okay. Making progress. Various materials. I think the farmer uses them to repair the animal shelters when necessary. I don't want kids in my, kids in my field. Get out. Always a pleasure. He used to love honey, right? Yeah, he won't let me pass. Oh, rusty key. It's not the right key. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I can ask him some questions. Okay. The gift, can you tell me what the gift is? It's a peel, a big paddle for baking. 
Okay. If you bring it back, I'll let you pass without any troubles. Okay. What do you what do you know about the monsters? I know what the others say. They that they kidnap people. You can't break the rules or go out at night. Yes, we'll talk. We'll know that. But I want to know more. Red is the one who claims to know a lot about all things forbidden. The monsters, the forest basements, even what the farmer really hides in the chicken coop. Half of what Red says is nonsense, you know. You know that, right? No, I mean, yes, but the other half is convincing. Okay, I'll ask him. Okay, I think she has... We can ask different things. So we have to cycle through the characters again. That old man down there, it seems like he's mad at you for something. That man over there keeps staring at me. I think maybe he hates me. I don't know why, though. He seems important. It's making me nervous. If you want, I can try talking to him. Are you sure he won't get angrier? Don't worry, I'll be nice to him. Listen, could I borrow those for a moment? My pruning shears? I don't know about that. I'll give them back to you in a blink of an eye. If mom found out I loaned her tool to one of my friends, she'd go ballistic. I don't want to be in trouble again. Are you talking about the time you lent me your mom's pots and pans for a basket of cherries? That and other times too, your ideas always end with me spending an afternoon getting scolded. But you like cherries. I love cherries, but I'm not kidding, Lucy. Mom always keep mom mom's always keeping an eye on me. I don't want any trouble. Okay, okay, I understand. There's no one here who knows how to treat flowers right. They have no passion for it. Aww. Well... These flower beds look beautiful. Perhaps they only need some water? Water? There are dry leaves everywhere. Old branches that need to be cleaned up and the ground is too hard. It's not a flower bed, it's a forest. Also, are you a gardener? Gardener? Who? Me? <laughs> you John breasts don't know anything. Well... If I may, I'd like to ask some questions about the town. What can you tell me about the forest? Haven't they told you anything? No, I mean, have you ever gone there? To do what? Talk with monsters? You couldn't have asked a more stupid question. What the heck, dude? Do you have any idea what the monsters look like? They definitely resemble brats like you. Leave me alone. Nothing. Okay, let's sing you a song, mister. Because you're kind of grumpy. Yeah, he used to love flowers. Oh my god, this one's so simple. Awesome. I appreciate that. Once this place was full of viviscous flowers, what do they look like? You can't see them around here because nobody keeps them anymore. It's a beautiful blue cobalt flower with white petals. I think I have seen that before. Yes, I have. Wait, I remember seeing a blue flower in Olivia's garden. Could that be the old man, what the old man was talking about? Okay, so I need the shears to free the dog. I need the flower for the old man for whatever reason. And I need to find the uh, um, the other guy's thing. It has to be over here. Straw looks comfy and stuff, makes you want to lay down, but I won't fall into its trap. I know it's scratchy. Nothing? Aww. A toolbox, it must be the farmers. Oh, there we go, it's locked. Typical of him. Perfect, let's see. A pile of rusty scrap. 
You got a hook. You got a hammer. Okay. I guess we're down here. There we go. Break the padlock. Bunnies get out. Farmer leaves. Aw. Ugh, not again. Get back here. Cool. Progress. I believe the farmer will be looking for them all day. Maybe that was a bit drastic, but those rabbits need some air. Okay, is there anything? Hmm. Cherries. There we go. You're too high up. Okay. No? Okay. If I'm not mistaken, that works here. He learned a lot of his skills here. Tom is really obnoxious with his skills, but I think he gets along with that. Better not draw his attention, he told me to stay inside. Okay, but I need to get those. It's a scarecrow. It scares birds with a passion for cooking. It's holding a peel for some reason. Okay, we got the item. I need to give the cherries to my friend, so that she can give me the shears. But we can't reach them. I have the rake, but I can't use that. Look, this is your gift, right? Yes, Lucy, that's it. Thank you. Remember your promise? Of course, you can pass now. Anything here? It's old and it hasn't been used for a long time. Come on, I'm counting on you, hedgehog. Hi, Black. Hi, Lucy. Check out this speedy hedgehog I found. It's definitely going to win. Of course. Listen, I wanted to ask you. In the forest. I like watching the forest from that little wall. It doesn't seem so threatening from, threatening from here. Well, obviously, it's noon. You should see it at night. Even the adults tremble when it's dark out. Heh. <laughs> Any idea why no one goes near it? What, are you stupid? I told you, it's only a problem at night. During the day, adults go there. Otherwise, how would we have wood for the fireplace? I didn't mean my day, and you don't have to call me names over it. Oh no, the hedgehog is losing ground. Come on, don't give up. Ugh. Have you seen a monster? Oh yeah, of course, Lucy. I see one at night all the time passing under my window. Seriously, tell me more. No way, who's, who's to say you won't just go telling everyone? I won't do that. Maybe I could tell you a secret, but only if you play with us first. Alright, but only for a little bit, okay? No, you have to win, but you won't be able to. You're just a little girl. So bossy. The game, how does it work? It's a race with the animals we caught. How's it going? Red has a frog, but I found the super hedgehog. Raven's Raven thinks I'm too stupid to win this game, but she'll see. Maybe I think so too. A, a hedgehog? You will all see. It's okay. I'll s let you play. Cool, thank you. Come on, Killer Quill. Make him eat dust. With a tragic name, I would have called him Richard. Hey, what's up? I'm getting my revenge on Black. He thinks he can beat me in animal races. This frog is unbeatable. It definitely has magical powers. Magical, of course. Can I ask you some questions? Shoot. You often talk about how good you are at discovering other people's secrets. Could you tell me something about the forest? I won't tell you anything. What? Why? Look, I know you think I make up all my stories. Since you're already such a know-it-all, I won't tell you anything. Ah, oh, is that it then? I... Ooh. I'll tell everyone you like Sonny? Ha! Wrong person, I'm not the one who likes Little Miss Perfect. Hey! If you want to learn anything from me, just beat me in the animal race instead of making stuff up. So if I win, will you talk to me? Yes, but don't worry, you won't. That story about the monsters you told us at the party, you made that up, right? 
You should learn to, to spy more on the adults when they're talking. They say a lot of interesting things when kids aren't supposed to be listening. Who can say if I made it up? You're asking a lot of suspicious questions lately. What are you up to, huh? Nothing. What are you talking about? What a shame. It would have been more fun. You've built a nice track here. Black just has sleepy Dormouse. Dormouse, so he's going to lose for sure. What powers does your frog have? It jumps. Oh. I won't distract you anymore. No worries. I can be black with my eyes closed. Hi, Raven. What are you doing? Red found a new pet to use in his races against Black. Another one. I already know who's going to win, though. Black's animals are always slow. Fast ones are too smart for him. I want to talk with you about something. I'm trying to find out more about the people who disappeared. Do you know anything? Not really. My family takes this all so seriously. No one ever, no one's ever disappeared. People like that, they don't get lost in the forest. Don't you ever worry that something could happen to them anyway? Even if it did, it wouldn't matter to me. They're just living in fear every day. I can't stand them. They keep talking about this aunt or that neighbor who disappeared. They're so sure that one day it'll happen to us too. One day I'm going to the forest on my own. I want to see if monsters really exist. You don't mean that, do you? Hey Black, have you ever been to the forest find any monsters there? Hank, what are you saying, Raven? I've never set foot in it. Do you think I'm crazy? Mm, you're useless as always. What did I do now? I'm sorry, Lucy, but I can't really help you. I understand. Have you ever seen the monsters? Well... What? I hear their voices. You mean their roars? Not only those. Do you mean they're singing? You, you can hear it too? Yep, it sounds like voices. I've heard it ever since the evening when my mother disappeared. It's terrifying and sad. I thought it was the only one. And any idea why, why you can hear it? I don't know, but it scares me. It always seems to call to me. I've never told anyone. So I was afraid that... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that the others hear it. I haven't told that either. If I told my parents, they'd lose it. They are obsessed with monsters. Listen. Would you like to talk about something else? Yes, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, she's afraid. Okay, he wants his hedgehog to win. Pretty straightforward. Okay. I mean, at this point, I'm a little bit frustrated with the game. Because this is not supposed to be a long game, but at the wrong time, it's just extending itself out of me not knowing what to do. Which... It's part of the experience, but I... Uh, uh, man. I'm so tempted to just look up a guide and... Okay. You got a crate. And find out what I need to do, because... I'm gonna use this to get the cherries. I won't be able to convince Sonny with just a few cherries, but... A whole tree may work. You got a branch full of cherries. Ouch, that hurt. But I've got lots of cherries now. Sonny! And where do you get this? If that comes from the farmer's field, I would love to see his face when he notices it's missing. I couldn't really see his face, to be honest. He was too busy chasing his rabbits. I can't believe you did that. Haha. <laughs> Sonny, what's going on? For heaven's sake, keep your voice down. Ah, oh, mom. Hi, Lucy. I see you're there, too. Hi. Please behave. I don't want anything to happen to you. We will. We're sorry. That could have been worse. Now, what should I do with these, Lucy? Eat them. And in return, you want the pruning shears, right? 
Well, you'll need free hands to eat those cherries. Yeah, you're you're impossible and fine. You can borrow them, but first. There's just one problem. If mom sees me slacking off, she'll start asking questions. We need to make it look like I'm still working. I can't move from here. I'll, I'll think of something. What? And what do you want me to do? Sonny, I have an idea. Use this rake to rake up the leaves on the ground. I'm sure your mother won't have anything against that. Oh, sounds great. Fine, Lucy. Here are the shears. Bring them back as soon as you're done, okay? Of course. Nice, okay. Don't do anything dangerous. You got a pair of shears. Now we can free the dog. Man, at last, things are moving. God. Okay, Mr. Doggo. Let's set you free. Go now, you're free. Well, where are you headed now? You got a rope. And I know we can combine that rope with this, right? Yeah, we're gonna use it for, no, like, okay, it's a grappling hole. I thought we were going to use it to uh, for fishing. And what are we going to try and grab with a grappling hook? What the heck? Oh, we can go this way? Hey, what are you doing here? The forest is dangerous. Come on, let's go back. Wait. Ah, where where are you? As I gaze toward the forest, I always feel something weird and it creeps me out. Oh, sorry, Mr. Doggo. Oh, there we go. Adventure time. Ah, uh, that wasn't so hard. Olivia cares a lot about her flowers. This one in particular is lovely. Okay. We got a flower for the, for the old guy. But I not tell her I took one. This door is covered in locks. Olivia must be really scared of the monsters. Yeah, I better get out of here. Okay. Should hide the evidence. Good, now my crime will go unnoticed. Let's hope it was worth it. Excuse me, is this a Thibescus? Where do you find that? Let me see. It really is a Thibescus. Did you know that with the right care, the the cut flowers can live up for a, to a, a month? Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it make it live that long. She would have known how. She who? Okay, it's the same thing. It's the flower I give to the old man. Chi Hu. Who were you talking about earlier? He's no longer listening. Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh, but we have to do the stupid puzzles. This this one is like the most more complicated one. 
Okay, so there's only one exit. There we go. Yeah. Once you once you understand the details as to how to do it, it's interesting, but again, it's it looks simple but it's complicated. Now I remember. I'd like to ask you some questions. That person, how, who taught you all these things about flowers? My sister said that the secret in the, is in the amount of water. They don't need a lot of it, otherwise they'll rot. She had a real passion for these flowers, and it wasn't just that. She took care of us all as if we were the flowers of her favorite garden. But then she left us only weeds. She disappeared into the forest. She was so responsible, yet she lost her way so easily. She abandoned us. I haven't forgiven her. How did it happen? Those cursed monsters. Didn't you try to save her? Little girl. Monsters exist and cannot be defeated. They will always be out there in the forest. This is why we have rules. To stick together, do not forget that. This... I don't have a place to keep it. Maybe I should throw it away. No, I'll take it. Yes, yes, whatever. Wow, that's so sad. Maybe now I can go back to Olivia? But I still need to win the race. It's a track that the others are using to make animal races against each other. Red and Black really put a lot of work into this. I wonder where they stole the materials to make it. Help the frog win the race. Press A to make it jump. Okay. If the bar is full, the frog will jump farther. The better your timing, the farther will jump. I lost. Okay. Right, let's use the hedgehog. Let's see what's the mechanic. It's very simple. Press A as fast as you can to make the hedgehog go faster. Great. Come on. Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> yes! Cool. I won! True. Not bad for a girl. What can you tell me about the monsters? And not the same old stories about roars and disappearances. We all know about that stuff. Do we? Do you believe that? Uh... You've been deceived. That's just fairy tale. The adults tell that the, the adults tell us they're using the monsters to get rid of people they don't like. When they're fed up with you, they get you out of your home, and the monsters take care of the rest. What? What are you talking about? The adults they hate us and want to keep us on a leash. I don't believe you. Do you have any evidence? I just know it. That's that's enough for me. If you want to live your fairy tale of good parents who love children and have fun, I know what game they're playing, and they won't fool me anymore. But know this, the day they decide to get rid of me, will, they will not find me. I'll live hidden away in these alleys and they'll never take me. Hmm, I don't know how much I can trust Red's stories. Okay, so I need to beat them both, okay. okay it's all a matter of timing with the frog. Nope. Oh, God. Whatever, I lost. Oh, you need to do it perfectly. Oh, no.
There we go. Very interesting, I must say. Ugh. I beat you. Tell me everything you know. You cheated. Do you want to cry in front of Red? Huh. So, you said you saw a monster. What's it like? It's scary. At night when someone disappears, I hear it. Gnawing on the bones of its victims. It's a huge spider head. Flaming eyes and long, slimy tentacles. You'd scream if you saw it. Black. Do you challenge me to, uh, to a game just to tell me this? You're a liar. You just want to copy Red and his scary stories. Don't you dare call me a liar. Stop telling me made up stories then. I want your challenge and now you're going to tell me a secret, a, re a real one, or I'll tell everyone what a liar you are. You, you're the worst. Okay, okay. You know Blue? Huh? What about him? I know a secret. He was Lucas' only friend, you know. The baker's son who disappeared. Really? I had no idea. He never mentioned it. I just saw them together by chance in this very street. On this very street, Luca was a strange kid. Being his friend meant getting looked down on by everyone, but Blue is too dumb to care about stuff like that. Luca, he was always so shy, he, was, he wasn't a part of our group, but I remember well when he disappeared. Well, Luca's poster was only hung up a few days after his disappearance, but strangely, Blue had already stopped coming to look for him here. What's strange about it? I think Blue knew about Lucas' disappearance long before the adults. Maybe he discovered something mysterious. I don't know, but I think I'll ask him. Thanks, Black. Okay, this chapter must be coming to an end, because I've been, like, wasting so much time moving here and moving there, like... Come on, people. Yeah, yeah, come on, talk to me. Luca, the baker's son. Did you ever talk to Luca? Yes, sometimes. Were you friends? Well, yes, maybe. He was to me, at least. He liked being alone. I think he was older than us. I admired him. He taught me a lot of things about hide and seek and camping, too. I know he wasn't comfortable with the others, but with me, it was different. Of course, he still treated me like a kid, but I think he trusted me. But I admit that I never got him completely. He often spoke, spoke about things I didn't understand. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have talked with you as soon as- I should have talked with you as soon as he disappeared. You couldn't have known, no one knew and didn't talk much about it. Because I think it might be my fault. How so? Did you do something wrong? No, I didn't do anything. One day he was here and the next, poof, he was gone. I used to know that the people around me kept disappearing one after the other, so maybe I'm the problem. I'm so afraid I'll be alone. Oh god, it's so sad. It's not like that, I'm sure. In any case, I, I won't disappear. Thanks, Lucy. How did Luca disappear? Did you ever find out how it happened? In the last few days, he was saying some strange things, stranger than normal, and I didn't see him around as much. One day, I went looking for him at our usual place, but he wasn't there. All of his things were gone, too. It was weird. I looked for him for quite a while, but I didn't find him anywhere. A few days later, his poster was hanging up, and they said he disappeared. I had already guessed it by then. Remember anything unusual before that happened? Well, just the things he talked about. He told me about the roars from the forest and how it, if you listen carefully, you can hear something more in them, like a song. I thought a lot about his words and you know, I have a theory now. I think the forest deceives you. First you hear its voice and then you disappear. See you later. Uh-huh. We are already hearing the voices. Um, seems like I have a lot of evidence now, and it's getting dark. I should go home now. Yeah, we're done. Let's get doodle. Great, that isn't back yet. I learned a lot today, so let's see. The forest deceives you, who knows what that means. And then there's these, those voices. Maybe the monsters trick people and somehow drag them into the forest. Maybe it happened to mom too. If that's true, then we need to save her. Everyone told me we shouldn't look for those who disappeared, but we should try, I'm sure of it. I need a backpack, some ra rations, and... If I told Dad, would he come with me? Dad, hi! 
Lucy, so you're home now. I was all looking for you. Tom saw you poking around in his fields. Didn't you read the note? Why did you leave the house? No, it's not like that. I was at home. Then Olivia came. She said it was important, so I went looking for you. But you were busy, and when I came back home, Olivia was already gone. Are you sure? Absolutely, yes. Um. Okay, I'll have to see her later. Hey, want to know what happened today? Hmm? I discover how mom's song continues. Don't. No, stop. What? But it's mom's song. Lucy, I'm not in the mood. Oh. Tell me where did you learn this? From this weird old lady. She says she taught mom all those songs. You talk with that crazy old woman? Lucy, you must never listen to what she says. She stay away from her. But she seems to know things about the forest. Maybe she could help us. Enough. You will not talk to her. That's final. No. I always have to listen, but there's never a reason. Lucy, none of you adults tell us anything. You only talk about what to do, what not to do. But then people disappear and you just stand there and doing nothing. And mom, mom disappeared and no one's looking for her. He's waiting for us. She needs help. I don't know where mom is. Lucy. Lucy, listen. I know you want answers. Let me tell you a story. It's important, so listen carefully. Here, sit for a while. It's a story that takes place when I was around your age. You see, your mom and I and another girl were great friends. That girl was my sister. We also thought that what the adults were doing wasn't quite right, so I know how you f you're feeling. One day, when another kid disappeared, we decided to go looking for him. We were sure it was the right thing to do, but we were wrong. That day, my sister never came back. Believe me when I say that I know how you're feeling right now, Lucy. But mom and I learned the hard way that the rules in this town are the only way to stick together. There is no way to find those who are gone. Monsters exist, but as long as we behave, they won't be able to take us. Do you understand this? Will you promise that you won't go after her, Lucy? Yes. I want to know what the monsters are at this point. Is, is it true that the forest was a different different ones? Is this another tale from the crazy old lady? Her words are just fantasy. Well, we have to stay together and face the truth. No more songs, no more research. It's for your own good. Will you let me protect you? I miss her. I miss her too. Oh god, this game is breaking my heart. Oh, we can't sing anymore. Okay. Are we going into chapter four? There we go. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.